All right, what's up everybody? Bryce and Michael RC here, and today we are going to be reviewing this chair. And you're not gonna be able to see this video until a little while after I get done doing the review, because at the current moment, my computer is down. And so I've already done the unboxing, and I went to edit it last night on my old computer, and it's just, it's not good enough to, to edit videos. So let's talk about this chair. It is amazing. So this thing is completely awesome. Uh, I love it. Hundred bucks for this chair. Here, my computer that I typically use is actually uh, out of service at the moment, though it's not up here. But this is kind of where I would just sit and do my work. And like I said in the unboxing, I'm not a uh, back of the seat type of person. I don't lean back into the back very often, and so I wanted something that was going to have like this pillow here or this pillow here and see I can move this all the way up and see how far that goes up and I've got both of the pillows against my back while I'm here and I can actually lean back against them which is amazing so the back goes up even further than my last chair did um, and then if I want to if I don't want them against me coolest thing about this is being able to lean it back. Look how far this thing goes back. It goes all the way to there. And the funny thing is, is when I lean it all the way back like this, my head is perfectly on this pillow up here. And uh, what I can do if I wanted to, scoot this out, uh, move this up. It's got a little thing. Ah. Put that down, and now I can just take me a little nap. Perfect pillow on my head, perfect pillow right here under my back, keeping my back completely supported, and then my feet kicked up and nice. 100 bucks, this chair. And it's really comfortable, the, the padding on it's super comfortable, I really like it, but there's one more topper, one more major topper to this that I didn't know about until we opened the box and I seen the wire sticking out. Um, and so I, I didn't know this when ordering it. It didn't say it in the, in the actual order. Um, it didn't say anything about it. So I didn't know this is just a bonus. But you can hear when I push this button. Yeah. You can hear that buzz. That's actually a massager that's in the bottom pillow. So, I'm getting a massage, I'm laying back, got a comfortable pillow up here for my head, and I'm just in wonderland right now. So, and then whenever I'm working, I can pull this up when I'm working, put that directly against my back, and I've still got it vibrating. And the coolest thing is, I can move this up, if my lower back gets too worked, this has these little uh, little uh, elastic straps here, and I can actually move this anywhere on here that I want to. So I can adjust it up top, I can push it down, wherever I want it to be, I can put it there. And it's just a USB plug-in, so you can use like a, uh, you can use your phone plug-in or anything really well your computer I've got a couple of USB ports up here on my desk um, but that is it's amazing I'm that's just for that alone I would I mean a hundred bucks for this chair that's that, that amazes me it seems like it should be more now this is just a review like a first day review of this chair and because this is like uh, we unboxed it yesterday and so I haven't really had a chance since my computer's been down to work a full eight hours sitting in the chair so um, that being said I'll let you guys know a little bit more the more I, I work and the more that I use it the one thing I don't like is the arms don't have padding and you can't move the arms so on the bottom um, the little screw hole is one of those oval long oval screw holes so you can move it in and out and adjust it that way but you can't adjust it up and down 
and then the arms don't have any padding on it. But they cradle my arms perfectly. Literally, I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's the top here. So elbow to wrist. I mean, it's the perfect size for me. So I don't know how, how good this would be for other people. I may get me a uh, some some foam to put here just to just because I do this a lot this is one of my main positions when I sit in a seat so my other seat you can see has this divot and it had padded arms but it had a permanent divot in it from when I did this and just wore the padding down so I am kind of worried about that but with the with the pillows with how comfortable this is it feels like it just wraps you up because it's got these it's a racing chair, so it's got these little um, parts that come over here on the side as well. And if I were to fall asleep in this, it's not like you can move side to side and worry about falling off because uh, it's got those little stoppers. So I'll show you guys just how easy this is. So this part just pulls out and then the thing pulls out. So a little padded spot to put your feet and stuff on. It's got a lot of really good padding. You can see me pushing down in on it. It's leather or pleather or something, so it's easy to clean. There's no like cloth. Uh, my other chair, the white parts were cloth. I really like this black and white look, and you guys can tell by my last chair, it was black and white as well. And you guys, I'll, I'll put up here uh, my last two chairs, some video of my last two chairs. Um, how plain the first one was and then the second one was white and black but the white parts were cloth and they got stains on them and it was irremovable stains but this is either a leather or a pleather I'm guessing it's a pleather because of how cheap the chair was um, but it should be very very easy to clean it's got really good stitching looks really nice this uh, pillow here you can just move right off so if you don't want that pillow on the top I don't see why you wouldn't want it because it's it actually even when you bring this as forward as you can it, it's actually really nice to have that right on your upper back and you can put it this way you can put it upside down it's just got a piece of elastic around it and it goes right around the top uh, really nicely so this turns around fully in a 360 uh, all the way around in a circle like like all the other chairs but man that massaging thing I just can't get over that the massaging pillow I'm just super pumped that, that I didn't know about it and it came in and, you, you know, it just, that's awesome. And the pillow is removable, so I'll put that down. Uh, and then on the back here, you can see that the elastic pieces have these clips. I don't know if you guys can see on video since it's black against black. Move it like this so you guys can see it a little better. So they just clip. If I can get it against the white, yeah, it's just a strap and it has a, an elastic clip on it. And you can unclip that and take the pillow off. And then the cool thing about it is a pillow is just a, um, a pillow that you can take anywhere with you. So you could actually take it off of here if you wanted to, set it in your recliner or love chair or something like that, and just keep it. It's just a vibrating massager that's on your back. So you can all, you, it doesn't have to stay in the chair, it's movable. Yeah, I don't know why you'd want to because it's perfect in the chair, but you can. Uh, one of the other cool things about this is the back part of this seat actually unzips all the way up. So if I wanted to, the back doesn't have as well or as good a padding as it in it as the butt part and as the part to put your feet on. The back doesn't have the greatest padding. And I think the reason being is because you already have the pillows in the main spots that you need uh, back support. Um, but some people might want all, a bunch of padding in the back. Um, so what you could do is unzip this thing completely and you can actually put your own padding in there if you want to. This goes all the way through. Um, and you can just, about this section here, you can get some bigger, thicker padding if you wanted to and stuff it up in there and then zip it back. And that's one of the things that I wish it had in the bottom here like an availability to unzip this because if you could replace all the padding I mean that would be that would be awesome because the butt padding is what goes down before anything else the back padding on computer chairs usually lasts forever because you well for me because I don't lean on the back so that's that's not a really big deal for me 
So, awesome, awesome, awesome chair. 100 bucks, guys. You can't go wrong at all. And if you're really big into gaming, uh, really big into getting gaming chairs and stuff, you cannot go wrong with this chair. Also, great, great price if you want to buy it as a gift for a family member or something. I know that my son tried this chair out and he really loved it and he wants one really bad. He's an actual gamer, so I let him have my other chair for now. And then once we actually, uh, what, we're going to get another one so he can get it. And this comes in several different colors. I'll show you guys the, uh, I'll show you guys the Amazon thing up here. You can get this in, uh, I think, blue and black. I'm doing this for memory. Blue and black, red and black, and I think pink and white, and then all black. A um, few different colors, so you have a selection. I think the white on black looks amazing. It's like my favorite two colors to put together right now. Um, that's so awesome. <laughs> it really is. Um, so I'll show you what I did. The entire like first day of having this thing. Kick this up. Ah, yeah, buddy. Kick this on. And kick this back. Well, let me get positioned in here. Put this all the way back. Oh, yeah. And I fell asleep on it yesterday. Just like this. Took an hour nap. It is that comfortable. So, one hour nap. Man, this thing is just awesome. These down here actually lock in position. So the back part, you can push it down and now it locks. And I can get up and the back's not going to come up with me. Um, but you can pull it upwards. And now the back moves with you as you go and you can kind of put it into whatever position you want and then just lock it there. Um, I actually haven't messed with the up and down. I don't know how far up. Oh, that's how far up it goes. That's pretty high. I haven't messed with the up and down. That's the first time I messed with it. The up and down um, eventually in cheap ones goes out and then you can put it all the way up and it just kind of ticks down. That's the whole reason I got my last chair, the last black and white chair, was because, uh, man, my feet don't even sit flat on the ground. That's how high this thing goes up. This goes up high. That's cool. But my, my first computer chair, the all black one, uh, wouldn't go up and down anymore. I mean, it went up and down, but as soon as I like it as high as you can get it. I don't know why I just like sitting high. And it would just slowly tick down and you could feel it going down and it just sucks. You had to wind up the bottom of it and until you finally found that sp sweet spot and then you could get it to stay up, but it was too much trouble. Um, and then my other one was a super cheap one, the white and black one that doesn't have the pillows, it doesn't have the back, and you know, it doesn't have the vibrator, um, and doesn't have the foot uh, thing. It was about a hundred bucks for that too, and um, it lasted for quite a while the up and down thing so you know just because it's cheap doesn't mean that 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 part's gonna go out which is always a good thing so thanks guys this has been my first impressions review of the FDW um, gamer chair race car style gaming chair with the massage it's called it's actually called a massaging chair but that's not what it was called on Amazon I'll, again I'll show you guys and I'll leave a link to this exact one in the description um, it doesn't say massaging chair, and if it does, I missed it. Um, this actually doesn't have a specific brand name to it, so I don't know what to call it and what to put it as. I think I'm just going to list it as a $100 gaming chair that massages or something like that along those lines. This is well worth it. Well worth it. And I'll do a six-month review on this chair to kind of show you where the padding is, uh, how it's holding up, and... Just kind of how an eight hour day goes in it, an eight hour work day sitting at the computer. You know, I've already slept in it once. <laughs> so my son loves it. He's a gamer and he absolutely loves it. He wants one so bad. And so I think we're going to get him one 
And I tried to go to GearBest because I'm affiliated with GearBest, but they didn't have any um, gamer chairs or or uh, computer chairs. They didn't have a decent selection. I think they had like one of each or something like that. So I had to go to Amazon, and so I'm doing this review, uh, and I did my unboxing as kind of like a warm up to some of the affiliate products that are going to be coming in here pretty soon that I'm going to be reviewing for um, GearBest. When I went on Amazon, when I went to Walmart, I went everywhere looking for a computer chair. If you're looking for a computer chair, if you're working from home, if you're spending a lot of time on your computer and stuff, they make gaming chairs so you sit in that chair and play video games all day. They, that's exactly why they make gaming chairs. To get you in front of the game and playing the video games and stuff you know, for as long as possible. So if you're looking for a good computer chair, I would encourage every single person that's looking for a computer chair, go and get you a gaming chair. Look up gaming chair on Amazon and they have tons of them. There's some really, really expensive ones. You can get anywhere from a $500 chair all the way down to this $100 chair. You can even go as low as, I think they have some chairs for like 70 some dollars that are very, very good chairs. But this being a hundred bucks, you get the bells and whistles, it leans back, it massages your back, it kicks up so you can kick your feet up, get your feet off the ground, it goes up super high, it's really comfortable. I mean, you can't ask for more. You really can't ask for more for that price. I may buy three or four more of these, I'm not joking. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, if you end up clicking on the link, this is not an affiliation. I did buy this with my own money. Uh, so make sure when you go and do the review, let Amazon know that you were inspired to buy this chair by Bryce and Michael RC. Uh, and hopefully I can get into an affiliation with Amazon the same way that I have with GearBest. That way I don't have to waste some of these uh, links. And I review a whole lot more for Amazon than anybody else. Uh, they have sent me some stuff before just to review uh, but it's never like GearBest where GearBest gives me a link and then every time that link is clicked on I make a certain percentage of it so um, anyways go get you one go get you one they're great have a good one my name is Russ Michael RC hit that subscribe button see you later bye